Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. We're we're uh, on Twitch now. Uh, yeah, hello. And, oh, I need to move this because it's this all is, twitchy. This is too close. This is too close together. We gotta move things around. Okay. Um. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hope everyone had a nice, nice, uh, nice like three or four week break from the Game Brew podcast. Us. Us. It's been busy. It has. It has been busy. Um, but welcome. I mean, during that time, like I, uh, you know, I got uh, this thing on my 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 yep. wrist, my hand, my Chris. Th this watch. Yeah, this, that this watch. Fit it's fit. a new watch, right? It's, it's a, a new, new Fitbit, Fitbit that I got. That's pretty yeah. good. No, also Chris, this. <laughs> Chris got married. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Chris got married. Allison, I Allison, and I were both there. Allison has no power right now. The intern now. was also there. The intern was also there. Ian was also there. Uh, I think that's it from the podcast. Uh, Jay, who joins us at Jay, at, uh, yeah, Jay was at, there. Uh, Magfest is Bob was there. Was there. Strick was uh, there. Bizarro was Ian there. Was, there. was there. Yeah, yeah. Um, good crew. Good crew. Good crew. Fun times. Uh, especially because my girlfriend met everyone for the first time. So it was like, like she had met people, but she never like physically met people. So now you've and she immediately regretted it. No, Gray, you're not invited to anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Allison said, yeah, I didn't jump in on my phone. I was advertising and I can't multitask with the phone. Allison has zero yes, power. No, right tastic, now. Multitasic. Multi multitasic. Multitasic. Yes. Um, but everyone, hello. And oh, yeah. So Chris got married. I got COVID. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that was terrible. But yeah, but you got better. I got better. Chris is still married, unfortunately. So. I, I am still married. <laughs> so he didn't get better. Uh, no, he is getting better day by day because he's married to Katie. That's right. Uh, That's also, right. typing on a phone keyboard is fun, is what Allison says. Is it? Is it? I think that was sarcasm. It's why it's in all caps. I um, can't tell because she's not here. Uh, but we'll blame <laughs> the power gods. If if eventually we're just in like our little Discord channel, so if at some point her power comes back on, all she has to do is just boop right in, and it's there. And as you can see, if you're watching on the stream. I don't do anything fancy with the screens anymore. It's just a box that is the Discord boxes. So I'm so Getting lazy. lazier by the episode. Lazier by the day. It's <laughs> great. Um, speaking of which, uh, oh yeah, glad to see you're feeling better. And condolences, Chris. Sorry, Chris, yes. for being married. Yeah. No, no, no. It's congratulations. Chris is great. Um, <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 134 of the Game Brew Podcast, the bi-weekly video game podcast where we sip delicious bevs, discuss video games, and come preloaded with 26 unique and entertaining flavors. Uh, wow, that's a lot of flavors. Yeah, I'm Dan. I'm Chris. Yeah, and on this episode of the Game Brew Podcast, we ask the question, will they package free games with consoles anymore? But first, maybe it's time for a bev. Chris, what are you drinking? Tequila. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Just straight tequila? Da, da, da. Uh, with ice. Okay. All right. What type of tequila? Is it white tequila, brown tequila? It is a Reposado mm. uh, Herradura. Um, nice. So this is kind of my go-to for, for sipping tequilas. Mm. It's, um, I don't know. It's pretty good. It's not too harsh. It's, uh, it's pretty drinkable, especially with one or two ice cubes and I don't know. So a reposado's aged a little bit in barrels, kind of mm -hmm. like whiskey, uh, which yeah. kind of gives it that that color, that, like brownish color. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, I think cool. añejos are are aged longer, and then there's blancos, which aren't aged at all. Yeah, I we have a blanco right now. I've did I Hannah has made me develop a taste for tequila because she likes tequila, and I've yeah, never really it's... liked it before. But that's good. I like it. Yeah. I uh, I didn't really develop a taste until I did like a tasting um, and actually had decent tequila. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's funny how that happens when it's like, oh, yeah, I got to taste really good different types of things and not just the crappy well drinks at my local haberdashery. No, that's a hat shop. <laughs> haberdashery. The drinking good word. Place. I like that. The drinking <laughs> hole. The watering the, hole. The watering hole. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm drinking baby juices. 
Mm. Stolen Sun Brewery, local brewery around here. How, it's, how fresh are they? Those baby juices. Uh, we've had it for a while, so not that fresh. Uh, but it's a it's a session juicy IPA. So Ooh. it's it's yummy. It's bitey. It's juicy. It's flavorful. It's good. Mm. It's good. I need to, to get it. more beer uh, this week. Uh, I also have I would beer love to have a beer next week. Can you not have beers? My toe says I can't have beers. Uh, no beers for Chris. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. I haven't drank alcohol in two weeks. So since, since the wedding? Basically, yeah. Because we got That's... COVID and then uh, it's like you feel so bad that you don't want to drink alcohol. So just didn't do, just didn't drink alcohol for two weeks until we started to feel better. So I think last... Yeah, I, I got to that point with uh, at the... the all-inclusive resort which is probably why i have a uh have a flare-up going on right yeah, now yeah <laughs> uh but uh I'm, i need to get beer and stuff for this week because it is uh on wednesday it's international uh dan rots appreciation day so Ooh, if you that's one of my favorite holidays it is if you have a dan rots in your life remember to appreciate them on uh, wednesday july 21st i've heard that the uh, government's giving off for those days or is it thursday Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. You know, I wish the government gave off for International Dan Roth's Appreciation Day. Um, <laughs> but I, I really don't think that they do. It's Thursday. That's Thursday is uh, International Dan Roth's Appreciation Day. Thursday, the 21st. Yes. Yeah. July 21st. Okay. In, International Dan Roth's Appreciation Day. Just remember to do that. Um, Appreciate your local Dan Roth's. Yeah. Any local Dan Roth's that you have, make sure you appreciate. Which is, is rare unless you live in central Pennsylvania or Germany. Um, there's usually some there, but yeah, everything's great. Everything's good. Yeah. If you're in the chat and you want to tell, and you're imbibing a delicious beverage, please tell us what it is. I would love to know what it is you're imbibing. Um, but we're going to talk about some stuff that we've been playing. Uh, Chris, you want to go first or do you want me? Sure. To yeah. I've been kind of, I've been kind of, kind of busy lately. So I finished Arkham Knight, which I talked about last night. Mm -hmm. Uh, if, if we were still doing. Um, <laughs> um, during the week before my my wedding, I was pretty stressed out, so I wanted something to kind of relax. So I was playing some uh, a game on Game Pass called Medieval Dynasty. Mm, yeah, um, have you that. seen that? Yeah, I saw. I've I've, I've seen it's it, cool. and I've been like, oh, interesting. It is interesting. It's kind of like a survivally village buildery kind of. Also has like some of the vibes of a um, <sighs> Kingdom Come Deliverance, but less. Mm. Less intense. Um, less intense, yeah. Yeah. But uh I don't know, it's kinda cool. It's a little it's I think it's a little indie game. It's not super like super polished, but it's like it works and it's solid. It's fun. Okay. Um, nice. So was doing that a little bit and then uh restarted Metal Gear Rising Revengeance because it kicks ass. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> that game it's is so over the cool. top. It's like if Michael Bay could make a video game it would be metal gear rising revengeance it's like i mean it's like playing an over-the-top anime it's it's yeah. fantastic yeah it's so good I and if it. you don't want to waste your time with all of the or, or you don't want to spend your time doing all of like the social aspects of like a persona game which is literally right. like playing yeah. an anime yeah this is like a this is more like a a dragon ball z style anime mm. that's a lot of like what's yeah. the, what are those uh, uh Sh shonen jump oh, shonen shonen yeah the shonen yeah. And yeah, so kind of like in those, uh, those that uh, that vein. But those are fun. And then uh, I've also been playing in a new D and D campaign. We had our first session uh, nice. this week, and it's an interesting one. So I'm I'm doing like my old my sa the the same group I have been, but this is a, a different group. And Katie's actually playing too for the first time. Oh, that's time. fine. Yeah, uh, but it's using a homebrewed. Well, it's it was found, the rule set was found online, but it's like basically a homebrewed. Uh, Pokemon rule set. So you, hey, your that's class, cool. Your class is Pokemon trainer. That's and really cool. um, so like you get a starter and like there's rules for for catching Pokemon and training Pokemon yeah. and or Pokemon and all that or like or really Pokemon, really Pokemon. Oh, that's great. I love it. Yeah, it, it, the rules got taken down a couple months ago because <laughs> um, you know obviously because Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo. Um, but uh, my my buddy was able to to pull them off. Um, before then. Before then, that's great. Yeah. I love that. So I'll be interested. My starter's coughing. He's awesome. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice coughing. What's his name? Did you name? 
I haven't named him. He's just coughing. But my uh, my character is basically he's we're starting in Pallet Town. Mm-hmm. Um, my character is the resident drug dealer, um, and he just vibes yeah. out with his coughing and just blows fat clouds all fat day clouds. with his coughing. Fat, yep. Thick, um, thick c- clouds, baby. Got yeah, fa- and he uh, so clouds. so weed was recently legalized in 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 Canto. So in Canto, um, that's good. So he has to figure out a new thing, and so that's why he's <laughs> going on an adventure. <laughs> I gotta find a new drug, man. There's not enough. <laughs> yeah, as if there's I'm, not I'm enough of them already. A, getting a Paris, getting an Oddish. Getting <laughs> <laughs> okay. So your grass grass poison type trainer is basically what you yeah. Want. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be a ghastly in there too because he's okay. basically a cloud. Also, ghastly. That's just I remember that's what he sounded like in the cartoon. Yeah, um, that's very cool. We're actually gonna yeah, be. Cool. I'm gonna be starting um, a monster of the week thing with some friends here soon Ooh. because we drove down to Delaware to the beach uh, on Saturday, and while we were down there, it was my sneaky plan was to get them all interested in it. By saying like, oh, hey, you should look up these playbooks for these different characters because I would love to start this. And so basically while we were driving down and sitting in traffic, they were like picking out their character aspects, how they knew each other, all the different things that they were going to do for it. I was just thinking that that would be like that's lightweight enough that you might even be able to do that during a drive. You could. I mean, I wouldn't do it. Which would be awesome. It would be cool, but I'm the game master. I'm the keeper of monsters, so it would be hard to do that while driving because I was the one who was driving. Well, no, the 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 driver would have to be a player character. Yeah, exactly. But it is. But yeah, it's one that's kind of light enough. As long as they they, you'd have to have somebody mark down your stuff for you and like really know what you're doing. But it's kind of lighter. But it was like the setup stuff was kind of nice. So we're gonna start doing that. In fact, we might actually record it. They want to record it. I don't know if we're gonna release it anywhere. But they just wanna. They just wanna have. (laughs) You're like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna be up to my standards. (laughs) Yes, my because I have very high standards, right? (laughs) Um, And also, I picked up. So I keep. I kept getting interested because I kept seeing TikToks and stuff. Um, uh, I got interested in Escape from Tarkov because that's a game that like all the streamers play. Like, there's a lot. There's mm-hmm. a big old streaming thing for it, and it is really interesting and fairly addictive. Um, hmm. Because it's basically like it's like a survival. It's like a Arma three except first person, and they're only like little fifteen or thirty minute instances. Hmm. And you, if you die. There's two different ways to play it. The main way, you have a main character, and you equip them with a bunch of stuff that you find in Tarkov. A la, like, PUBG? Yeah, kind of like that. But you, if you get out, you take it with you. And then you can use it in, like, subsequent games. But also, if you die, you lose all of your things <laughs> that you have. So you really don't want to die. You just want to escape or kill anyone who's trying to kill you. Um is that's like the main character part of it. Um, there's, Interesting. There's also, uh, but you can also like insure your items. So like, if mm. you die with it, you get it back. There's just a waiting period. So it's like, if you die, you're like, oh, I lost all my stuff, but I get it back in like 20, 12 to twenty four hours. Um, if you don't want to play it that way, there is a you can play as a scav, which is basically if you're your main character, it's you versus like everybody. If you're a scav, it's basically you and all the other scavs versus any of the main characters that are in, or the PMCs, the retired uh, paramilitary corps that are like trying to cool. escape from Tarkov. So, so with the scavs, is it just like with the scavs, you get a random preloaded thing. So basically, you load in and you have like a bunch of stuff, but it's none of your things. It's just stuff that comes loaded on the scav, and you don't know exactly what's going to be there. All you know is that okay. you'll have a gun or a weapon of some kind. I'd have loaded in a couple times as a scab and just had a knife. Um, but you still get <laughs> to keep anything that you get from getting, so you're like your main from, person from getting out. So yeah, so it's like if you're short so, on backpacks or you should because you do need backpacks and there's like cases that you can get that also don't disappear like whenever you get out. So, or whenever you don't get out, like if you die, you have like a case where it's like, oh, it, that maintains everything inside, but it only has like four little slots to begin with. Um, hmm. And it That's is interesting. I, it, I like that, like, there's like something that you can take to your next game, kind of like it's not like mm-hmm. it just ends and then it's completely new. And yeah, they, they, like des- they describe it's kind of like an MMO 
mixed with a first person shooter. So it's like, so it has that like MMO sort of aspect. And you can like meet people on there. There is voice chat that's uh, like, you know, uh, that's what's the word? I don't know. Um, like, like based on your, where you're, yeah, based on like where, where you, you are, are to other people. Yeah. So, um, so you can like talk to people. I haven't come across anyone who's willing to not murder me, but there are like, but as a scav, it's like frowned upon to kill other scavs. Um, right. So you, you want to really be careful. It's hard to tell whenever you just start out, but you get used to it after a while. Um, and that seems like the way to kind of get into it is be a scav for a while, figure out the guns, figure mm-hmm. out everything. But you can only be a scav. You can only be a scav every like 25 minutes or something like that. So, uh, so it's like you can go in once and do it, but then you have to wait n- until it's it's like new. There's also a thing. There's there is something that's kind of interesting that people do. You can also go in as what people call a hatchling, which is where you don't equip anything to your main character. You just go in completely naked and just try and like, or like without any gear, and you just try and scavenge as much stuff without dying mm. as you can. Which is incredibly yeah. difficult, um, but is a viable thing to do in like the beginning levels of it. Um, but it's still really hard because there's a lot of people. Yeah. That sounds super cool. Um, I'm kind of interested. It does it cost, I assume it costs money to, it costs money. It's still in beta. Um, it hasn't been released yet. Um, but like fully, um, but I think, I think it was $45 is how much it was. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. It made me better at call of duty. I don't know how it just did. I was better at Warzone after I played it, and I was like, hmm. I don't understand how this happened. I think it was because I was so nervous from like listening, because the sound design's really good, and the it is really fairly complicated. There are a lot of like finer sort of movements to do, like to check your ammo. Like if you find a gun, it doesn't tell you how much ammo it has. Um, oh, you can you like, kind of like count stuff. Well, it's 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 interesting the way it works. This is kind of one of my favorite things about it is like you find a gun and you say and like the ammo count says, oh yeah, it has question mark out of like twenty five, and then you're mm-hmm. like, okay, there's a button to check the clip, which then all you get to know is like, okay, it looks like there's less than half of the ammo is in here. I don't know exactly how okay. much it is, but then in order to actually count the ammo, you have to like un- it out un- like- you have to unload the clip. So you can count how many bullets are in it and then reload the clip with the with the ammo so that you so you know exactly how much ammo is in it, which I assume takes like it takes time. time. Yeah, it takes time. So whenever you're like trying to like hide from people and not die, it is very nerve wracking. I bet. But it's uh, a it's 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 uh, it unlocks that lizard brain part of your like of your mentality where you're just like i have to <laughs> i have to survive it's like terrifying and fun and also rage inducing but also <laughs> like kind of kind of kind of interesting i i'm having fun with it there's like quests and stuff i haven't fin- i haven't like done enough to complete any of them yet but there are like people and vendors so you can buy stuff you can trade things with people you can um there's like a trade board It's also like you have a little hideout where you find things in Tarkov to use in your hideout to make it easier to do stuff. Like it's like, oh, this one gives you like health regeneration. This item gives you um, the ability to upgrade your stuff while you're in the map. Um, But you have to find things in Tarkov and bring them back to your hideout in order to do it. So Mm -hmm. it's tough. It's complicated, but it's very, it's very, I I think it's kind of neat. I'm just still still playing it seeing what it's like i'm not great at it i can assure you it is quite tough but chris if you do get it we can play together i'll let you know we, we can co-op we, you can play together so mm. so that would be a thing that we could do um okay it's on steam right uh no it is not on steam it's it's not their own like thing um you have to mm. download the BSG the battles battle sir Star uh, Galactica BSG Battle State, uh, battle game. State game launcher um, so because it is an independent it's an independent thing there is not like a they don't have like a crazy publisher it's just them um, yeah. so it's kind of so it's interesting um, I just keep seeing I kept seeing people on Twitch playing it and I was like this is kind of so it's kind of neat. I kind of want to see what it's about. Feel these 
anxieties on my own. Yeah. Um, but, cool, uh, but yeah, that's what I've been playing. Um, but speaking of playing things, hey, Chris, do you remember whenever... Yeah, they have yeah, they have their own launcher. They it's everybody has their own launcher now. Rockstar, Ubisoft. Well, I, some of them are getting rid of their launchers cuz they were like, yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it's oh god. And like have you seen all the Ubisoft stuff? Oh, uh, the, now- them like taking down the game. Yeah. Well, not like not taking down the game, but like removing the They're like, "Oh yeah, so- you Go ahead. <laughs> Vin Allison says we should make that a topic. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this right now. We'll talk about this on the next episode of the Game Brew Podcast. All the All right. goddamn launchers. Well, Allison has opinions, and she's not here I right now. You're going to hear them. And you're going to hear them. Whether you like it or not, you're going to hear Allison's opinions. Um, uh, but instead, we're going to talk about, you know, how whenever you would be bored at school or at work, and you can't really download games onto the computer at school or work, but there is mm-hmm. Minesweeper, and mm-hmm. you were twelve and didn't know how it worked. But hey, you could play it. Yeah, I uh, I remember like figuring out that you could change the mines, <laughs> like to one. <laughs> yeah, and then like push a button and then you would win. And I'm like, hey, hey, that's easy. <laughs> I-, I just. I just remember for the longest time, we're talking about games that come prepackaged with consoles, computers, anything that comes there already. Um, uh, whether it's free or whether it's like the, hey, look, it's this edition of this boy. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about the free ones, like Minesweeper, which I figured, I was like, yeah, I could just right click and put flags on everything and then I'll win, right? And that's yeah, not, totally. That's, that's, that's how not, it goes. That, that's definitely how it works. That's not how you play Minesweeper. Uh, how you play Minesweeper is you have to use the numbers to figure out how close the mines are. Uh, and I'd learned that when I was 22, probably. Wow. Because I hadn't played Minesweeper. I was busy playing Halo. Um, I, uh, I loved the pinball game. I think it was on Windows XP. I think it was too. It was just Microsoft pinball or something or like super pinball. I don't know. But it was, but it was really good. I like that it was just a tiny window, and it wasn't like a real console. Like it, it wasn't like it was like this wasn't a pinball console that it had existed at some point. It was just like someone was like, "Hey, look! Hey, guess what? Pinball." <laughs> and then there was pinball, and and we had it, and for a while. Did you ever play Hover on Windows ninety five? I think it was 95 is that the one where it was like you were like a lunar lander and you had no, to, no that's something different no this was like a game that came i th- i think with windows 95 let me go look at the gameplay real quick um but it was basically like you were like this little hovercraft and you would like you could do capture the flag you, like, you had to get through a maze and like you could i think shoot other hovers hover like hovercraft or something or like build Shooting walls and hovers. stuff Shooting all the hovers. No, I don't remember that. I don't remember that yeah. at all. Was that something that came with it? Yeah. I don't. I don't think Windows ninety five. I mean, I was pretty young whenever that came out. You were pretty young so with was, that. I don't know. So was I. How does okay. how does Chris remember this? Everybody. Magic. Is he immortal? Um. I don't know. <laughs> I've actually been alive for hundreds of years. Oh God. Um. You're like <laughs> Keanu Reeves or Paul Rudd. Or uh, what's his name in Shadow and Bone? No, no, not haven't seen Shadow and Bone. No. Oh, okay. Never what's mind. Shadow and Bone. It's a TV show on Netflix. I'll have to watch that. Is it like it's a good. thirsty young adult novel? Sort of, yeah. That's why I haven't seen it, but. I read the thirsty young adult novel too. It's oh, yeah. very thirsty. <laughs> um, it's super awkward. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> oh boy, <sighs> yeah, hover. It was it was pretty dope. Um, <laughs> uh, um, the I really liked with a lot of consoles. They they included games that really showed off some of like the distinct features. Of it was the, like of the, the new the features console. of stuff. I think like the most, the best one that ever existed, the best one that ever came out and existed was Wii Sports. Cause they were Absolutely. just like, they were just like, yeah, there's motion controls. Everyone was already like 
going into it being like, what the hell are you doing? No motion control console. This is stupid because we were all idiots. Uh, and they were like, here, here, just play Wii Sports. It's free. It comes with it. And you'll do You're it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And then you'll like, get it. There were YouTube videos of people throwing their Wii remotes at televisions <laughs> accidentally. There were like, you could play tennis, you could play bowling. You could play. I think bowling was probably the most played of any of those. Or um, games. tennis. Yeah. Or tennis, tennis was good. Like. What else was um, there? Was there a baseball there was one? Golf. There was, there was baseball. There was a golf one. Yeah. Yeah. Golf, baseball. Yeah. No. Um, Wii Sports was amazing. And it's like so obvious and so yeah. like. It's just like, yeah, it's a sports game. So you could figure out how to swing this remote around. Without hurting your friends or your dog or yeah. your dog's friends. <laughs> or your dog's friends. Or your dog's um, friends. Yeah, I mean, um, and I felt like um, my PS5, it came with Astro's Lou- Astro's Playroom. Astro's Playroom, um, yes. Astro, Astro Lounge is, is an album by Smash Mouth. Nice. Um, <laughs> Some. <clears throat> um, Body one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Because oh, um, your screen is so red right now, <laughs> your face is just, is just red. I'm, it's like you're I'm restarting so... my computer, so it's, uh... I was like your face. Your face. You're, it's like you're so angry. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, but Astro's Lounge. Ast- fuck. Ast- Astro's Playroom. Astro's um, Play Lounge Room. Yes. Um, so with the PS5, it has haptic feedback on the the controller, oh. um, as well as like some motion control with it um so the, and and variable trigger um like pressure like it's not just on off you could yeah. do like variable trigger um so they were really showing that off in uh astro's playroom with like different mini games and like it was a um it was a platformer um and like just different sections would use different parts of the controller in different nice. ways it was really cool nice. um i thought that was like a really it, that's like a really smart thing to do is 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 especially if you have all these features that people might not know about mm-hmm. it's it's like an advertisement for your yeah um, yeah it's a the console itself. so the console's like hey here's how everything works here's all the different right. parts of it they did the same sort of thing with vr i know with the quest 2 whenever you get it there's like a uh starting your quest 2 sort of thing where it shows you it's like oh yeah here's how everything works and it shows you how to like grab stuff it shows you mm-hmm. how to like it was like oh yeah you can grab things throw them there's physicality um here's like oh how shooting a gun works if you were to shoot a gun and of course it's different you know uh, just like everything else it's different depending on whatever your game you're playing most of the time but in uh-huh. general it gets you to be able to use the motion stuff and like the physical aspects of how everything works you know yeah where it's like hey on your did you know that your hands will always be like this unless you go like this or like <laughs> this you know <laughs> yeah just uh, like in real life <laughs> Chris, do you have a Sith saber? Do I have a Sith saber? No, I do not. Do you have any lightsabers whatsoever? Uh, not like you. Terrible. Right. Yet, I'm, anyway. I, that is that is a life goal of mine. I do have I I have some Witcher swords. Nice. Those are also good. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes. Ah. Hold up. KFAL sighting. As long as the prepackaged software includes an actual hard copy, uh. A cartridge disc etc those pre-bundled with a download code suck hmm uh astro's playroom was pre-bundled and does not suck was it was it a code or was it a physical disc but this is a... uh, i think it was actually just installed on it okay um, when i got it okay that's kind of interesting there's so it was like kind of like when you're doing the update so but that's a whole other argument is like yeah physical physical copies versus download codes because we all know what direction the world's going right now which is download code centric i mean most a lot of consoles now they're like they give you the version of it which doesn't even have a disk drive in it for you to be able to do stuff so yeah i'm gonna be sad when those like physical copies go away me too i will say it is i don't know it's like the it's like the distance between the pizza in my mouth is very, very close together with download codes though. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And like, I mean, I've, I've gotten over it with like PC games. Like I have thousands of steam games when I don't have literally thousands. Physical, 
physical copies, literal thousands, um, <laughs> physical copies of uh, like I maybe have ten physical copies of of games on on my PC now, um, mm -hmm. and like usually when you get a PC um, a a physical copy, it just has a download code anyways. Yeah, it exactly. That's that's like no one has disk drives anymore. I think that's what like uh, some people are mad at the new God of War because it's like you get all of this cool stuff and then it gives you a download code. Um, uh, PM, uh, KFAL. Boop, 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 boop. The Switch was a pain with those. A Switch is a console that families will sometimes own more than one. That is true. So that is... I mean, yeah. I do like having little the Switch cartridges because I can switch yeah. them out with those. Well, and I, I feel like that's also just a thing of our age because mm -hmm. we were so used to that like growing up having physical copies especially cartridges because a lot of us had n64s and game boys and you know we like that tactileness right. um but i mean i think in the end of the day like it probably doesn't really matter that much but i think yeah I, and i, I think like it. <laughs> kfal love you uh, I he says he got a pre bundled Mario Kart Switch with a download code, and when my wife got her console, we couldn't swap the game around. Um, yeah, that's but yeah, that's and that's kind of the downside to uh, that whole the the whole here's download code with your this version of it. I mean, but the days of getting the Legend of Zelda themed Nintendo 64 and it comes with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, you know would be really cool. I don't think that ever existed. Uh but that would have been really cool. I'm not sure, but I mean they still are doing special editions of consoles and they stuff. Do, they do, but it doesn't give you a physical copy of things anymore. Now no, actually and when I got my Wind Waker Wii U, <gasps> I it came with a, a uh But that's the Wii U. Okay. How long ago was that? Uh probably Well I got it refurbished, but it was probably seven years ago. I think I think in the last, like, since we've started this podcast, uh, it has become more prominent that they just give you download stuff. Well, seven I mean, years is a Animal long Cross time in video game land. It is. Arkham Knight's seven years old, which is wild to me. Oh, my God. That's seven years old? Game looks good for <laughs> Metal Gear Rising now. Revengeance is nine years old. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, God. Um, not that long ago. I'm just here to make everybody feel old. That it's a, Listen, that's, I'm going to be old this week. So, so I, get to, I get to make everybody else feel old, too. Uh, we're having a survivor birthday party uh, on Saturday for me. It's going to be great. What do you mean? Like, so like you're going to like, tell people to fucking leave? Sorry, yeah. I need to stop I, cursing. <laughs> stop <laughs> cursing so much, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All the children that watch our podcast are going to be so yeah, upset. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> actually, that could be true. I do have some former students with <laughs> me. So, and well, they're some, not children anymore. They're, they're not children students. anymore. That's true. Um, but the, uh, um, but the, it's it's no, we're not. We're voting people like to be the winner. Like, there's a prize for whoever's the winner of it because they'll get like a. Um, because they'll get like points for each like challenge they do. Um, so Hannah has put together a bunch of things and she's the best. So, <coughs> um, Allison says, are we not cursing anymore? We're trying to cut back, you know, it's a new, it's a new beers resolution. Um, <laughs> uh, and K Fowl regrets not buying the Game Boy Color Pokemon Yellow Pikachu bundle long ago. I mean, we all do. We all slept mm. on the Pikachu on like, uh, the yellow version, not knowing, like we were just like, oh, why do I want the Pikachu one? I don't want that. I could just you play my blue version, and that one's great. But we didn't know. We just didn't. Um, know. Super off topic, but I think, I think I had a copy of, I think I have a copy of the um, Fire Emblem game that came out for GameCube, which is apparently worth a good amount of money now. That's right. There was a Fire Emblem game that came out for GameCube. Pretty sure I have. You that. should look that up. Yeah. Also, Allison probably would kill me if I got rid of it. Um, <laughs> Just give it to Allison. <laughs> uh, no, don't do that. Just keep it for yourself. My Hey You, uh, Allison says her Hey You Pikachu N64 was the favorite special console she ever that owned. The, that was the blue and yellow one, I think. I think it was. 
and it came with yeah. all the hey you pikachu stuff that almost kind of worked sometimes <laughs> yeah because it was just a um, microphone <laughs> we're getting off topic no we're uh, not because that's a, that was a version of it that you got the console and it came yeah that's true and it came i was thinking I, the game. in my head i was thinking more like launch stuff well launch games i guess would be like uh i was thinking like uh, luigi's mansion for gamecube did was that a launch title for gamecube nice pretty sure i love that game or like uh halo combat evolved for xbox okay did it did that come out right away with the xbox uh-huh. pretty sure huh that's very cool that's very cool and if there were i don't know if that was whenever they did did they have like a halo edition of the xbox i don't know if they had the only two xboxes i remember were the black one and like the green see-through one yes remember that aesthetic that was yeah there was i saw like a thing on reddit or 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 something the other day yeah like the the and the the purple see-through n64 and like the controller it was just like like, everything electronic had like a plastic a see-through plastic version of it you could get that was probably because of apple is my guess probably you're probably because of the uh imax the that had all the different colors Mm mm-hmm uh, KFAL says the older consoles used to be pretty standard to bundle. Nintendo came with Mario slash Duck Hunt. Um, and yes, NES came with Super Mario World. That's that's a solid game. Um, that game is pretty tight. Like as far as like games I remember from my childhood of playing and having a good time, Super Mario World was uh, one solid. of the best ones. Just because yeah. I just... The, meow, 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 meow. That's the first world. It would always sound like that, um, and I just it just pops into my head every time I hear it. Bump 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 bump, and you'd end it. It would go bump 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 after you ran up and hit the thing, and it spun around, and then you. Yeah, no, it's a that's a that's a super solid one, and then. I, I couldn't think of what I had when that got bundled with my PS4. Knack. When I got it. I didn't have Knack. But that was one of the launch titles. Was yeah, Knack. yeah, it was. Um, um, that was Mario 3? It was Mario 3. I'm an idiot. Wow. KFAL, you got me. You just know. He knows more K-Fal, than that video. KFAL knows the... the, uh, the uh, certainly the... Uh, the musical the jingles. Do, 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 also do, that. Do, 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 do. Um, did you ever play any that were bad? Launch titles that were bad? Like that came with mm. your, like, that came with the console? Like you played it once and never played it again? Yeah, there were some things for the Xbox 360. No, not, not the Xbox 3, the Xbox One that uh used heavily like the connect features mm. and that was really bad i don't know if i ever did anything with my connect ever i disconnected it eventually um disconnected it <laughs> uh game what oh, what was it there was a game that was really bad was it rise i feel like mine came with rise which actually wasn't terrible Rise was pretty good. It was pretty. Um, I remember for a 360 while you're looking that up, Cameo. Did you ever play Cameo? I, I tried to. It was bad. It was not good. I'm pretty sure I finished it just because I was super bored one summer, but it was not great. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, there it was. Dance Central. <laughs> No, that wasn't one of them. I cannot remember. I think there was like a there was like a connect. I know which one I got my, with mine. I got Forza Five with mine, which is fine. I think I like Forza. Yeah, Connect Adventures was one that you could get, um, and it was it like let you use the full body stuff to do like adventures and things like that. Man, the Connect was okay. just a. Not, just a miss. Just a big just miss. A miss. Um, um, but yeah, in my head, like, I don't know. Those aren't as like 
defining games for me that like did a lot. Um, and well, I wonder, I wonder, especially with like that that generation, like PS4, Xbox One, like at that point there were a lot of free games coming out. Like I, I remember downloading War Thunder and Warframe on my PS4 mm-hmm. pretty much immediately and trying those out too. Well, yeah, those are yeah, because that was yeah, there were some free. Uh, oh, Gray says if you got four connect, you won the game though. Yeah, connect four. I, yeah, I get that. That's good. But um, I like that. Thanks, Gray. Yeah. <laughs> you are a light in a in a dark world. Uh but the Thor the Dark World, uh the worst one. Uh but the Have you watched the have you seen the new one? I haven't seen the new one yet. We had COVID. We couldn't go and do anything. So uh this week we're gonna try and go with Pop. See what's up. Nice. Uh but I think we keep saying things about launch titles and it's like always anytime there's a new technology that's involved with it is usually whenever they give you stuff, you know, because they're yeah. like, hey, here's how well, like something that they actually like care about. Yeah, <laughs> that they want to show off, you know, um, and I think that's a big. That's a big like reason there are those things. Yeah. Um, so. I it's think. unfortunate that sometimes it feels like those are the only things that use those capabilities though. Like, right. Well, but that's kind of the, that's the hard part about implementation. And especially whenever it's a, when it's like a, something that is designed multi-platform when it's multi-platform or whenever there's something that's part of a console or part of an equipment generation where it is like, Hey, you Pikachu, it wasn't something that was necessary for the console to run. It was an extra thing you could put on it. Uh, the Kinect was on uh, for the Xbox One. wasn't necessarily a wasn't necessary, but it was a thing that you could get. With the mm-hmm. Wii, it was part of the con- like the motion controls are the console. You can't get the console and not use the motion controls. Yeah. I mean, it was essentially a GameCube with motion controls. Exactly. A VR headset. The quest two is not like you can't use that without it being a VR console, you know? Sure. So yeah. I think whenever it's stuff like, Oh yeah, it's an extra thing. I think one of the coolest things about the PS4 is the speaker in the controller. That was um, cool. Because just because there's like sometimes whenever it's like, I forget what it was. What game was it? I think it was uh, Last of Us. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was that where you have your your, like your your flashlight, but you have to shake it for it to work. And anytime you shake it, you could hear it shaking in the controller. It might have been something else. Thinking like, yeah, almost like a like a. Like, like the kinetic hands, battery kind of recharger kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there was that. Hmm. And also, like, I've been playing um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And Ooh, yeah. whenever you do, you make your haikus, you can hear from, there's, like, chanting that comes out of the controller to further put mm-hmm. you into a sort of meditative state. Um, um, yeah, that was cool. That game is good. It is good. I. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little... Um, it's a little samey for me, which is why I kind of jump between that and other games right now, because mm-hmm. it's like it's like it's good and it's really fun to play, but in like short bursts. Like I'm not going to sit sure. down and like keep going with it over time. Um, I'm just going to like do a few things, complete some quests and story beats, and then go do something else. Um, yeah. Whenever I'm tired of that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's see what else, what would you say, Chris, with these games, like package built in games, what would you want to see that would make you get like a, a packaged in game, like a console? I mean, generally it's, it's kind of something that you never really like get a choice on. Mm. Um, you might sometimes can choose between different versions, like. I'm pretty sure I chose the Forza 5 version instead of like whatever else was available at the time. It was mm. a shortage, so I just got what I got. Um, mm-hmm. Kind of, that's kind of what happened when I got my PS5 too. Like, 
it came with the um, Astros la- Astros playroom. Astro land. Uh, <laughs> it just really got uh, it's some in Astro there, man. on the mind. Uh, it's, it's in there, oh, buddy. <laughs> it's in there. Um, I think I got like. I think it came as a bundle and it came with three other games, but I think that's because Best Buy was selling it that way. Okay. Um, but sometimes it exposes you to games that you don't expect to be like to really enjoy and you do, which is really cool. Mm. Um, it's like going to a concert and like hearing the opener. Um, you didn't go to see the opener, but you see it and you're like, oh, that's cool. But and they're you... there. And I'm like, yeah. oh, hey, I really love uh, Butt Stuff Kincaid. You know, I've never thought I'd yeah. love that band, but man, they're really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a real band. So like, it might be a real band. I don't know. Yeah, I found like a lot of bands that I really like that way. Nice. Um, and 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 I kind of like finding uh, video games that way too. You know, I like finding video games now by just owning whatever version of the Game Pass is for the console that it is, and just playing whatever is on there. Um, mm-hmm. Since I have, but that being said, there are games where I would get like. If I felt like it, if I felt like spending a lot of money and there was a God of War PS5 that you could get, I would probably get it or Ragnarok. I'm sure there is and I'm sure you could. I don't think there is. I have such a hard time trying to find any. I guess they're now their current generation consoles. Like it's been like should be should be getting better now. It's not. It's not really. No, it's not. Every time I go anywhere, they're like, no, we don't have any. I call places, I look online, and they're like, no, we don't have any. But also, I don't need to be spending money on that kind of stuff. Right now, I got bills to pay. I got bills to pay. I got a dog mouth to feed. Dog mouth. <laughs> He's a hungry boy, and he has a, a an upset tummy most of the time, so he Aww, gets the buddy. expensive dog food. Oh, it's fine. He's Aww, fine. He still buddy. tries to eat grass every day because he's an well, idiot. because his tummy hurts. No, it's because he's an idiot and he just wants to eat grass. And his tummy hurts because he eats grass. Yeah, exactly. It's like, Dad, why does my tummy hurt? Because you're eating grass. Well, I'm going to eat some grass then. No. <laughs> I love our I love my our, our little idiot dog, but he's he's a dumbass. Um, but yeah, I would get that. I yeah. would get that. I do also really like special edition versions of things. I do. I got the special edition Majora's Mask whenever it came out. It was a gold cartridge. It came with a gold controller also on N64. I didn't get the gold controller, but I had the gold cartridge my with dad, the hologram. My dad was also like, Link was there whenever he got <laughs> 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 Because I didn't go get it. He went to go get it because I was in school or some shit. And he, went, and he went to go pick it up. He was like, yeah, Link was there. I was like... Oh, what? Why? As a kid, that would have been cool. Did you did you like Majora's Mask? I like I like Majora's Mask all all the times. Okay. I find it was okay. I thought it was really scary whenever I was a kid. It but... was scary. I also uh Yeah, I didn't I I liked I mean, I it was a little bit of a downer for me after Ocarina of Time, honestly. I just like Zelda stuff. I'm one of, I mean, I do too. But, but like, I was like, I, I want my, I want to be able to spend time here, and you're rushing me. <laughs> I, I will say, like, I that was frustrating initially. I think I don't know. It's hard to remember what twelve year old Dan thought about it because he's going to be thirty three year old Dan on Thursday, and I'm an old man. But no, I think I remember just being like, it was really cool, and I really liked that. Um, I really liked the Zora Link. I thought he was really cool. That was cool with the guitar. Yeah, like I was like that. I, I was like freaking tight, man. It was awesome. Mine, unsurprisingly, my favorite was Goron Link. Of course, um, of course. because you could be a wheel just shredding stuff just out in the field, shredding stuff, just wrecking things. Um, yep. Allison says she loves Majora, but it's frustrating. She liked really hard games as a kid, though. Grace, it was amazing. Allison says, when it ended and was rushed, I was so upset. But then I took it as a challenge, and that was a big commonality in games of that time for some reason. I think later later games in the N64 land did do that. They were a little bit more complicated. Like, we had all the things we needed. We had the Pokemon stadiums, you know? We needed yeah. all the other ones. 
Um, Ogre Battle 64 was pretty tough, if I recall. Allison. Uh, I'm going to be Allison for a second. I remember that Harvest Moon that had a timer where you were ended and restarted at a certain point, and I got pissed after it was more than just the Zelda game because it was a trend and it sucked this face. Uh, and then don't <laughs> brush my ass is what Allison says. <laughs> Allison language. Um, there's uh, but yeah. So um, I guess we'll go back to our, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, so let's go back to our, our, our original question. Uh, that we're asking on this podcast because of course this is a this is a podcast where we are very strict with our the way we run things here um (laughs) we don't lose focus at all um but will they chris will they package free games with consoles anymore do you think so it depends on what what you mean by free like do we mean bundled or do we mean no i mean free like legitimately free i mean legitimately free um I think only in instances instances like you said that are there's like a new technology or, or thing about the console that they really right. want to show off. When there's AO um, technology. Yeah. Okay. What about what do you think? I I mean honestly even now I'm kind of like I'm kind of like I don't know. But you yeah, I I would say no. But you did say on the PS5 they did come out with one, so yeah, and it and it was it was pretty good. Who knows what the future of consoles looks like at all, right now? Like, will there be consoles? Will we just plug yeah. things directly into our brain holes and play it in our memories? So it's like we don't actually play it; we just have the memory of playing it. We live it. The Matrix. Okay. Mm-hmm. Equilibrium. The Matrix. I just made Hannah and I. Uh, I just made Hannah watch all of the John Wick movies. Um, you know what? I have never seen any of them for some reason. Are you I don't know how that's happened. Freaking serious, Chris? I, I am. I go don't. Away. I don't know how it happened. Do you have Peacock Plus? Do you have Peacock at all? Uh, no, I, okay. I do not have feathers. Great, um, because all of the John Wick movies are on Peacock, so you could watch them there. Um, there's okay. a free trial, maybe you could do that. Yeah, no, I should like uh I should get on that probably. Those are really um, good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's amazing. One is great, two is good, three is amazing. Uh the fourth one's coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, but, no, but I'll, anyway. have to, I'll have to check it out. We anyway, talked about sorry. The, I said the Matrix, and that's why I thought because they were directed by the guy who was uh 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 Keanu Reeves stunt double in the Matrix. So Oh for real? Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so like action heavy, because you know, why not? Stunts, stunts, hashtag stunts, um, hashtag Keanu. So, um, with that being said, I think it's getting to that time where we close out the show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and in order to do that, we're gonna do this: the plugs first. Um, uh, Chris, do you have anything to plug? Uh nope. <laughs> okay. No, nothing. 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 No ideas. No, literally nothing. Nothing. Literally he's Chris is playing. Uh, oh, we should uh, we should we should get back on the 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 game view podcast. Oh, that's right. right. The game view podcast. Um I mean, we could do that this week. Um in fact, maybe we might have a we might have a gray man if we if we ask him to. Um, Ooh, that'd be cool. Let me go into the uh, the archives. The archives, real quick. <laughs> I believe that the movie that was voted for it was between Tomb Raider. I think the, we were on Tomb Raider because it was between Tomb Raider and something else. Uh, yes, and I believe Tomb Raider. Won. I believe Tomb Raider won. I have to pull up the. I can't use the Discord on my computer because will disappear. Uh, but if I go to topic submissions. It was between Resident Evil and Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider won by a landslide. So, if you want to uh, be able to add to the chat about our summer podcast series, the Game View Podcast, um, uh, we'll be watching Tomb Raider, not the Alicia Vikander one. Uh, no, the, the one, the 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 what's her name, Angelina Jolie. Angelina one. Jolie and her father John Voight are both in this movie. 
Um, who is also her father in the movie. Who is also her father in the movie. Fun little Easter should, egg for you. Should we do, try to do both? Or just the first one? You can. It's up to you. If you want to watch the other one, that's perfectly fine. I've played all the games. I know what happens. All, all the games? I've played all of the games, actually. Every single Tomb Raider. You've yeah, played. I played like the original ones and like all the really bad re- like like triangles. Triangles. Yep, I played those. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the computer, uh, and then I played all the other ones whenever they came out for like consoles. <laughs> I remember my dad really liking Tomb Raider growing up on the PC. We all anyways, know why. we all know why. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Triangles. But- so, <laughs> that's what Chris is plugging is uh, next week's uh, Game View podcast. Um, this week, uh, you can listen to the last episode that we recorded. I will release it tomorrow. As I said, I had COVID for the last two weeks, so I haven't released the podcast that we recorded a month ago. Um, but that will release tomorrow, so you have stuff to do in the week coming up. Um and then if you want to hang out with us, ask questions, uh, see that Will finally is playing Demon Souls and now also is playing Dark Souls. Demon Souls? He got he got Demon Souls for his PS5 and he was uh-huh. like, should I play it? And I was like, yeah, man, you'll enjoy yeah, you it. Play it. And it's, he's it's and he's doing it. He's enjoying it. Um, and now he and then he asked me last night at very late at night. Will Will is as a new dad has like the craziest hours. He'll like talk to me at three in the afternoon, then it's radio silence until like ten thirty at night. <laughs> and then he sends me messages while I'm asleep in bed. Um but uh but he was asking me if he should get uh Dark Souls for his Switch, and I was like, I would get it for something else, but he was like, But that's not where I would play it, yeah. but okay. <laughs> But he was like, but band <laughs> trips. And I'm like, well, I guess that's a thing. So you can Yeah, but too. frustration from the controller yeah. being not don't the best throw, for it. Yeah, don't throw your Switch away. Um, so, yeah, you could join our Discord. That was a really long segue to get into the fact that our Discord is a place. You can go by going to bit.ly slash disco brew. B-I-T dot L-Y slash D-I-S-C-O-B-R-E-W. <laughs> disco brew. Um, you can... Go watch Allison play video games on Wednesdays. She does it at 8 p.m. at twitch.tv slash Vinalia, V-I-N-A-L-I-A. I think last week she was playing some witchy game with Witchy Pip, and I don't I, I like tuned in for a second, but like it involved witches or was it just witches? It was like spells. I think no. I think it was like it was like spells or potions or something like that. Allison will correct me okay. at some point. Um, but it, but that's what it looked like. Um, I think the fact okay. that Witchy Pip was involved was just a added a, bonus. A, a, a fancy bonus. Fancy bonus. Um, Very cool. And then, of course, if you want to go to any of our stuff, everything is at the Game Brew. Um, oh, I did stream uh, Warzone with the boys. Uh, with the boys! With the boys on Thursday. So if you want to watch my stream on that, you can go to twitch.tv slash tube crazed, T U B E C R A Z E D. Making potions, delivering them to owls. Okay. Nice. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I like owls and potions. So same. Uh yeah, so I mean with uh, I don't think there's anything else if there is, I'll remember I don't it. I think so. Oh great, is the episode out of the of your uh podcast where Allison's on it? Pause for him to respond. Um, and also for effect and for a dramatic effect uh, because Allison did uh, go on Gray's podcast. Um, cool. And I'm going to pull up Spotify so I don't get any of the information wrong about this podcast because it is called uh, Nightmare Potluck. Um, and, it, uh, and it is on uh, Spotify. And uh, Allison's on. I mean, you could listen to it. I've listened to a few episodes of it. Um, I was listened to it more when I was could drive for work, but right now it's summertime, so work is less driving. Um, Hooray for you! But sad for yeah, yeah. I don't know. Sad for that, but it's really good. It's <laughs> uh, especially if you like uh, like ghosty, spooky sort of things. Um, I love I love all of that. So, all right. So check that out. And 
If anyone has anything else, put it in the Discord, and then it'll be there for everybody to see. Yay! So now yeah. we're going to end the podcast version of tonight with uh, the way we always end the podcast by saying good night, everybody. So good night, good night everybody. everybody.